What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So as most of you probably know, I am not the biggest fan of large national banking corporations, and I even made an entire video on why you should close your national bank account. But for the sake of fairness, I like to give everyone a fair shot. So today we're going to be taking a look at a company that of all of the national banks that I don't like, they are probably one of the best options, and that would be Citibank. So today let's take a look at all of the features that this massive company has to offer and as always see how this more traditional banking model stacks up against some of the more modern mobile banking options that are currently on the market. All right, let's jump right into it. So in case you didn't know, Citibank is actually one of the largest national banks with over $1 trillion in assets, meaning we will be hard pressed to cover everything that they offer in detail in this one video. But to give you a quick overview, Citi currently has credit cards, including their very popular Citi double cash card, banking options that include checking, savings, CDs, money market accounts, banking IRAs, and a number of lending options as well as their very own investing and wealth management services that we won't be diving into too much detail today, but we will briefly go over them at the end of the video in case that is something that you are interested in. All right, so let's start off with the reason that most of you are probably here and that I wanna focus on today, and that would be the checking and savings account options. Now, I will tell you right out of the gate that in my opinion, Citi's banking options can get very, very confusing because just for the checking and savings account options, there are eight different different accounts that you can choose from that all have different features and fees that are associated with them. But for 95% of us, we're probably going to be sticking to the everyday simple banking features. And for Citi, the most mainstream and simple account option that is probably going to be the best one for you is called their basic banking. And that comes in a checking and savings account combo. Now, this does have a $12 monthly fee, but don't worry if there wasn't an easy way to waive that fee, I probably wouldn't even bother reviewing this bank because you all know that I hate monthly fees. So thankfully, you can get that $12 monthly fee waived if you are 62 or older, have a balance of at least $1,500 or more, which is probably the easiest one to hit for most of you, or if you receive a qualifying direct deposit and use their bill payment service each month. So my personal suggestion, if you don't meet any of those criteria, meaning you aren't able to get that $12 monthly fee waived, is I wouldn't really bother looking into this bank any further because there are so many other options out there that aren't going to charge you any monthly fee to begin with. That being said, the main benefit of having any account with Citi or any other national bank for that matter is the widespread financial services that they offer because they are such a large company, including their 2,500 worldwide locations and their network of 65,000 free to use ATMs, not to mention the other robust financial services that they offer that we'll talk about later on in the video. So with this basic account, you're going to have all of the essential banking tools like paper checks, a debit card, including access to their online platform where you can deposit checks, move money around between your checking and savings account, and view your other financial accounts with Citi. I do also want to mention that they have a premium banking option that is a step up from the everyday banking with three different accounts that offer a number of additional benefits, but these come with higher fees and requirements. So unless you have a ton of money that you want to put in a city account, then this premium banking option is probably not going to be the best fit for most of us. And you just want to stick to the everyday checking account. Now, just like most other national bank accounts, your checking account is going to work in conjunction with a savings account. And this is the area where I really feel City does a much better job than similar competition. For starters, they're currently going to pay you 0.5% interest on all of the money in your savings account, which not only absolutely crushes the other large national banks like Wells Fargo and Bank of America, who currently pay just 0.01%, but City's current rate even beats out some of the most popular fintech banking options as well. Now, again, the savings accounts are broken down into a ton of different options, so depending on which checking account you decide to go with, you'll also get that matched with the same savings account option, which in this case is the everyday basic banking account that we're talking about. So similar to the everyday basic banking checking account, you're also going to have that everyday basic banking savings account. But again, those are going to come in a combination with each other and kind of work hand in hand with a more traditional model. For the savings account, that same $12 monthly fee does apply. But in this case, once again, as long as you meet one of those other requirements that we talked about earlier, then you are able to get that fee waived pretty easily. With the savings account, you can set up autosave to automatically move 
move money from your checking to your savings account, set up custom balance alerts that will go right to your phone, right through the City Banking app. And that is incredibly well designed, in my opinion, and is one of the best parts of this platform. And you can even get some other great tools like overdraft protection, which is one of those things that we don't usually see from these large national banks. And this probably goes without saying, but obviously all of the money in these accounts is going to be fully FDIC insured, so nothing to worry about there. All right, so, so far everything is pretty basic and there's not really anything that special, but they are definitely beating out other national banks like Wells Fargo and Bank of America. But let's keep going to see how they stack up against some of the mobile banking options that we have come to love. So they also have a number of CD accounts with terms as short as three months that currently pays 0.05% and going all the way up to five years, which currently pays 0.15%. Now, for comparison's sake, Ally Bank currently has a three-month CD that pays 0.2% and a five-year CD that currently pays 0.85%. So if you do think you're going to use this certificate of deposit, then I would definitely look into something like Ally Bank because the rates that they are currently paying are going to be significantly higher. Okay, so what else does City have? Well, one glimmer of hope for City is their lineup of credit cards, with the most popular one being the City Double Cash Card that I have reviewed in a separate video. But if you are looking to get some easy flat cash back on all of your purchases and grow your credit score at the same time, then the City Double Cash Card is definitely one of the best options that is currently on the market, and it has been around for a long time and has always been at the top of my list. On top of that, they also have the City Premier Card and the City Diamond Preferred card that are going to give you points from restaurants, grocery stores, and other travel benefits as well. As I mentioned earlier, City does have their own investing and wealth management tools as well. And while that is not the focus of today's video, they do have a ton of financial resources that allow you to work with a financial advisor one-on-one, -on -one, build your own custom portfolio, or just have your own self-directed trading through a standard investing account. Or if you really want that hands-on experience with a professional, you can get detailed help through their wealth management tools with City Gold, City Gold Private Client, and City Priority. So as you can probably tell, I'm not 100% sold on this one. Obviously, I came into this with some skepticism, but I promise I always try to keep an open mind regardless of what platform I'm reviewing. But there's just not a whole lot here that I feel can compete with some of the best mobile banking options that are currently on the market. That being said, there are a few silver linings that we will want to keep in mind. First of all, you've got those physical branch locations, including 700 locations here in the US and 1,800 additional locations worldwide. So if there is a branch location near you or you want to go to a physical bank for whatever reason, then that is definitely an advantage that Citi is going to offer that those fully online banks do not have. On top of that, their customer support is pretty fantastic in my experience with a pretty wide range of hours. And while it definitely does not stack up against something like Discover, who offers amazing 24 seven customer support, it is still much better when compared to similar competition like Wells Fargo and Bank of America, whose customer support leaves a little bit to be desired. And the last silver lining that is honestly the best part of this entire platform in my opinion is the City mobile banking app that is very, very highly rated. This app allows you to keep track of all of your city accounts, including checking, savings, credit cards, loans, and any other financial tool that you were using with Citi. They also have some fantastic savings and budgeting tools, credit monitoring services, and the bill payment feature that we mentioned earlier, which is one thing that a lot of mobile banks do not currently offer. So at the end of the day, will I personally be making Citi my main bank account? Probably not. That said, if you do currently have a national bank account with Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, or any of those other large companies, and you've been thinking about leaving, but you're not quite ready to completely go to an online model, then getting something like Citi or even Capital One is going to be a great way to kind of dip your toe in the online model without completely getting rid of that traditional banking model. Both Citi and Capital One have done an amazing job of adapting and maintaining those physical brick and mortar locations while also creating a very well-designed online platform as well. So if you're looking at leaving your national bank account, but you're not completely ready to fully jump into that online model, then definitely check out Citibank because they have a ton of awesome financial resources, but I still firmly believe that there are much better better fully online options currently on the market that pay much higher interest rates, have better designed platforms, and offer a ton of features that these national banks just don't have. Personally, I recommend you check out Discover and Ally Bank if you are brand new to this fully online banking model. And I also encourage you to check out my video on why you should consider closing your national bank account as well if you are on the fence.
As always, be sure to let me know what you think of Citibank down in the comment section below, because I'm sure we all have different opinions on this one. And if you did get value out of this content, it would mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone who you think would get value out of this content as well. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.